Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. In this uh, video I'd like to look at how the US E-minis unfolded yesterday. I particularly want to uh, follow up also on a, uh, a setup we were looking at in our training webinar on uh, the NQ and then see what unfolded uh, throughout the rest of the day. So I'll start with that and then look at the other markets uh, afterwards. On the NQ what we're looking at is if I go to the 15 minute chart you can see, I'll just clear that off actually, you can see that we had, uh, put session breaks on, you can see that we had going into um, just after the open yesterday we had resistance at our DP level. Uh, to place this on the chart we right mouse click at the previ previous pivot which was here and there's the level on our chart. Now what we were looking at was uh, just after the open we hit this DP resistance therefore we're looking at a market to carry on down for a potential holy grail short and we actually went down to the one minute chart this was a very aggressive trade we don't normally suggest going to the one minute chart so it had only been for experienced users but what we were looking at we were looking at uh, basically this being a larger degree um, 15 minute high therefore we had initial decline down here and therefore we had a, an ABC rally up into this TS3 cell. If I place the analysis on we were then looking for the market to carry on down into this typical wave 3 WPT. We're looking at a potential 8.5 R profit uh, and as you can see the market didn't do that um, so I think it's very important to always follow up on trade setups that didn't unfold as anticipated because it's nothing worse than uh, vendors doing videos or talking about setups and then when they don't work out as anticipated they just put them under the carpet and forget about them. So I wanted specifically to look at this trade setup because it did not go as we anticipated. So how could you have managed this? Well as the market came down what I was suggesting is at the very least you should have had your stop at break even. And um, we're also suggesting that uh, you ought to have the confidence to let this run. But also, as the market unfolds, take a look to see whether um, there are any reasons why your stop loss should have been uh, adjusted. So what I'd suggest with this is, as the market came down here, uh, then your stop loss should have been at break even, which uh, at this one was at, uh, let me just see that, uh, 3503.25 there was our entry level. But as the market rallied back up here, to our TS4 cell then started to decline down you should have had your stop at uh, just above uh, this high which actually was the same as break even. So what would have happened with this trade? Well basically you would have been stopped out for break even and that's okay when a trade doesn't unfold as anticipated coming out for a break even or a scratch trade is perfectly acceptable particularly when the potential profit was potentially 8.5 R. So that's what I wanted to look at to start with, uh, the trade setup that we're looking at in our training webinar yesterday that didn't unfold as anticipated. So the result of, as we've seen, a potential scratch trade. Just go back to the 15 minute chart and there we go. So were there any other trades on any other markets, um, particularly on the long side, because as we can see that's what the NQ decided to do. If I look at the 15 minute chart of the ES, there was no particular resistance. If I place the decision point on here, you can see we're actually above decision point resistance and the, the larger trend was up. Same with the YM, I'll just clear that off there. If I put the decision point on from here, you can see that yesterday the market gapped up above this and the market was strong. Uh, in fact, actually the YM looked to be the strongest of the three markets. So if we now go down to the three minute charts, you can see on the ES we actually had a TS2 buy set up here that would have uh, uh, resulted in a minus one hour loss. We then had another trade set up here as shown by a history triangle that would have been just stopped out to the tick. And then we had a third setup here that actually would have got you long off the very low of the day. But then this shows the beauty of our position sizing. Because as the market went up to this first target, uh, the profit was 3.6R. So even though there's two losing trades and one profitable trade, the losers are minus 1, minus 1. The profit is plus 3.6. Therefore, you make money overall. This is the beauty of using correct position sizing. Note our STF color is blue here. <clears throat> Therefore, just like the 15-minute chart I looked at earlier in the video, large degree trend was up. Let's have a look at the YM. <clears throat> now, if you remember, on the 15-minute chart, I said the YM was the strongest of the markets. I'll just go and look at that again. The strongest of the markets because the market gapped up well beyond our, its 50 minute resistance and carried on up strongly from there. So if you were looking to trade on the long side yesterday, the best one would have been the YM. 
Uh, as with the ES, there was a TS2 buy setup here that, as with the ES as well, would have been stopped out from minus 1R loss. Uh, another trade setup here, as shown by History Triangle, which also would have been a minus 1R loss, just like the ES. But then if we come in at this uh, this setup here, which actually was the uh, very bar of the low of the day, the market then would have given you another uh, long trade setup. This time the market went right up to the first target there, just before the close, which actually was pretty much the high of the day. So there you go, one trade setup here from long from pretty much the low of the day up into the high of the day. If I look at the, <coughs> the STF color, you can see there it's blue. If I make that indicator panel just a little bit bigger there, whoops, grab that. You see the STF blue indicating large degree trend is up and also confirmed by the 15 minute charts. So there you go, a long trade there from pretty much the low of the day up to take profit at pretty much the high of the day. But the best part about this is just look at the risk reward on this long trade plus 5.7R. In other words, turning an, uh, um, a dollar risk of approximately $400, which was 2% risk on a sample 20,000 US dollar account, into just over 2,200. So even if you have one loser, then another loser, and only one profit, two losers, one profit, the profit at 5.7 times greater than the losses means you make a very nice profit overall at the end of the day. And this shows the true power of correct position sizing. There were a couple of sell setups. You can see I'm um, circling there as indicated by history triangles. But because the large degree trend was up, blue STF and a strong 15 minute chart, we would only be looking for the long, uh, the long side there. So that's a roundup of how the USE minis unfolded yesterday. First, a look at the potential short trade on uh, the one minute chart of that 15 minute resistance that didn't unfold as anticipated. And it's always important to look at trades that don't unfold as anticipated to see how we could have managed them. And then as the YM was the strongest of the three markets, looking at the three long trade setups there and seeing how the last long trade setup made a very nice 5.7 hour profit. So a good day overall uh, for the MT predictor software.